So you want to learn how to set up a Facebook pixel in 2020 and beyond? Well, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you step by step exactly how you can go about doing that. So you definitely want to stick with me all the way through this video so you don't miss anything. Now, my name is Rakeem Madison, and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also, tick that bell icon if you want to learn how to build a long, sustainable business that will give you the freedom you deserve all right so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and minimize my camera and we're gonna jump right into today's content all right so as you can see we are inside of the facebook business manager so we're gonna go go ahead and get started on a step-by-step -step process now before we actually set up the pixel we want to go ahead and get a tool called the facebook pixel helper all right and make sure if you're going to be using this extension make sure you have google chrome as your browser because that's the way that's pretty much the only way you're really going to be able to use it Okay. All right. So we're going to type Facebook pixel helper just like that. All right. And then we're going to hit enter. And then as you can see right here, it says Chrome.Google. We're going to click right on this right here. And you're going to see that I already have um, this extension installed. So that's why it says right here, remove from Chrome. Uh, if you didn't have it, it would say add to Chrome. All right. So go ahead and add it to your Chrome. And then this will be the extension that you'll be looking for. So this little extension right here, that's what you're looking for. All right. So now that you got the Facebook pixel installed, now we're going to go back over to the business manager. All right. So in order for you to do this, I want you to pay very close attention to what I'm, I'm going to be doing because Facebook actually had you know many updates over the years I actually made this video before but at the time that they actually that the time that I made it they have changed so much and so I'm showing you the new interface here today alright so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up here to the three lines to where it says business manager we're gonna click here and then you see all these different shortcuts yours may be different but if you can't find it what you want to do is you see these little ex this little uh two arrows going up and down go ahead and expand the menu and then scroll until you see events manager okay so we're going to click on events manager okay so as you can see, it's populating the screen. Once the screen populates, I'm going to show you exactly what you need to do. All right, so it's doing this thing. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down. Okay, so now you start to see like the data as I'm scrolling down. And then you can see my last pixel fire was one hour ago. All right, so now what you're going to do to set up your pixel, right? Because there's a, there's a couple different ways for you to do it, but I feel like the most easiest way um, for you to do it is to just manually install it yourself. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on add events and then you can see it says using the convergence AIP from a new website and from the pixel. So the one we're gonna pick on, uh, click on is from a new website. So you can see you can manually add the pixel code to your website. That would be you just taking the code and adding it to your website, which I'm gonna show you. Or you can actually use a partner integration. So if you're using like Squarespace, Shopify, WordPress, any of those integrations, it's a lot more um, than just the ones I mentioned, but like any sites that allow you to integrate with your Facebook pixel. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and go to the manually add pixel code to your to your website. So when we click install code manually, what we're going to do is you see this green button, we're going to click copy the code. And then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to one of the, uh, the page builders um, or tools that I use to build out my pages in different websites. Um, at least one of them right and I'm gonna go to one of the websites that I already built out so I'm just gonna choose one real quickly here um, okay so I'm gonna use this one right here first I'm gonna show you the website and then we're gonna go up go ahead and go back and then um, add our pixel to the website all right so this is the website that I created right so there's the person's logo there's the home quick little headline you know got a nice video there and then giving them a call to action if they you know want to take a class or whatever whatever your offer is all right so the whole point of the pixel is to be able to stay in front of our audience so if they come to this page right here i don't want to miss out on these people because they had an interest and so that's the reason they came to the page so to stay in front of them 
we're gonna go ahead and install our pixel on the page. So what I would do is I would go back to now site and then I would click on the page to actually edit it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do inside of now site marketing is we're gonna go ahead and click on the count uh, the, the, the conig up at the top, right? Hopefully you saw that. Go ahead and click on that. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna scroll down to where it says add custom code. Then I'm gonna click on add new code and then I'm going to name the code. So whatever you want it to be, me, me, um, you know, what I like to do is I actually like to name it just like I wanna I wanna know that it's a Facebook pixel. So I usually just put um if I know that this is like a this is like yoga, right? So I'll put yoga FB pixel right just for my tracking purposes and then inside of here since we already copied the code all we're gonna do is um, just paste the code inside of here let me make sure I copied it correctly okay just give it just a minute I think it's just a little bit slow let me go back okay so boom the, the code actually posted in there Facebook pixel code boom there's the code so we're gonna go ahead and hit save and then at this point I'm just gonna hit save and exit okay boom the website is updated so now in order for us to verify that's why we actually went ahead and downloaded the Facebook pixel helper tool first so that way we didn't have to go and do it after we did our site so now what I want to do is right now you can see that this site has no pixels on it right there's none at all so it's not tracking anything but when I actually refresh the page since I just installed the pixel it should have the the, um, the little pixel symbol up there at the top alright so now you can see that my pixel was set up so before it didn't have any so now when I click on this you can see viewing log in content one pixel found so you can see it's a very simple process in order for you to actually install your pixel now as I was talking about before um, you can continue on through, throughout the process so if we can continue you can see enable advanced matching so if we were to turn that on you can see the different things in which you can use but we're not going to actually use that we're just going to continue on throughout the process so they do have a way for you to actually add your events as well um, and this is like their event setup tool um, but we're not going to focus on that here in this video what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another video showing you exactly how you can go about setting up um, custom events all right so you definitely want to stick around for um, you know stay tuned here on the channel make sure you subscribe to the channel um, so you can actually uh, check that video very video out as well all right so with that being said Hopefully you got some value from this video, and if you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, drop me a comment down below letting me know if this was helpful or valuable. And like I said, make sure you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of the new upcoming videos for this channel, all right? So with that being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.